Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is doing well today. I am here with a thrift haul. Now, I got some weird stuff this time around. And I don't know if it was because I really couldn't find that much stuff. And I was like, ooh, I, I had like this sequin. Like, I kept buying things with sequins on it. And I'm like, whatever. I, I don't know. I mean, some of it's really gaudy, but... Anyway, if you would like to see what I got, stay tuned. Okay, so I went out yesterday and I got a few items. I'm going to be photographing them tonight and listing them. Um, and I'm going to go through. I'm going to first show you the really strange looking things that I got, which I don't know what they may sell for or if they even will sell I think some of them are vintage um, that's kind of what I was looking for this time around but I didn't really find anything like I found one thing for sure well I can't even say for sure I looked at the tag and it looks like it could be vintage but I'll show you guys and maybe you know all right so the first thing that I got was this Papel um, boutique and I believe it's the Adriana Papel you know she does the dresses and stuff but let me see if this thing even closes. So this top is a beaded top. And I mean, I would never wear it ever. But, you know, there's people out there who are into this kind of stuff. I don't really know anything about this. But this is what I found. It is like a floral. It's heavy. I mean, it feels so heavy. Um... But look at the, it's all the beading on it. It's so heavy, but it's silk. Um, the shell, the outside is silk. And the lining on the inside is polyester. It's an extra large, but, oh, did I show you the label? It's Papel uh, Boutique Evening. But yeah, it was just this really pretty beaded shirt. And it's, like I said, very heavy. Um... I know there's somebody out there who would love this. I do not have an Etsy, so I don't think that I would put it on, um, I don't think I'll put it on eBay. I might, I might put it on eBay because I have been trying to add some of my vintage items to eBay um, just because I feel like they would go faster, which apparently they don't because they've been sitting there a month already. Um, but yeah, so that was the first gaudy thing that I got. The second one is the Scala Scala. I'm not sure of the name. I will show you. I need to look it up. Usually whenever I'm photographing, right before I start listing, I will start looking things up for comps and such. Um, yeah, this one, I don't know. It just screams grandma. Because, like, 80s grandma. I don't know. But anyway, here we go. It's this, it's a sequin and beaded top. I don't think... The camera does it justice, but I couldn't help it. It was two bucks, and I was like, okay, I'm not leaving this behind. I'm going to get it because it was cute, but not for me. Um, it zips up the back. I didn't see any sequins that were missing. I didn't see anything wrong with it. It just, it's out of date, you know? Um, but yeah, I mean, it's been very taken care of. As for what it's made of, it is 100% pure silk lining. Um, and then it says, oh, excuse me, it is 100, the, the shell is 100% pure silk and the lining is polyester. But yeah, so it's a silk and sequin top. It's really cute. And the last funky looking thing I got was another Papel. It has the tag still on it. It was only, it only retailed for $69.99. So it's not extremely expensive. This reminds me more of like prom, um, just like a top that, you know, somebody would wear to the prom. And it's just this, it's, is this beads? Yeah, it's beading. So it is this top. I hope you can see it well. It's um like a gray color. Can you see it? And this is a Pop Hill Boutique Evening, same company as the first one. So yeah, I grabbed these three up. They were all $2. Actually, no, they weren't $2. They were a dollar because they were 50% off. So I paid $3 for all of them. You know, we'll see. Somebody may buy it or they might sit. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. Um, all right. So the next item that I got was this Lucky brand. It's an extra large. What I've been trying to do 
is pick up bigger sizes because I've noticed now I sell a good bit of the stuff that I get um, I guess based on brand alone but um, as for sizes when I went through my sales report for the year I looked at sizes and I really was lacking with bigger sizes and I feel like if I had bigger sizes maybe my sales would increase as well um, because according to all the statistics most women are a size I think it said a size 12 to 14 um, the majority of women in the United States and I was like hmm okay well most of the stuff I have is like a size 0 to size 8 max like it's rare for me to find larger sizes um, so I've really been trying hard to find bigger sizes so this is an extra large lucky brand I think I have some larges in Lucky Brand, but they don't sell for me as well. They sell for everybody else, but I have issues selling Lucky Brand. Um, but I, of course, still buy it. It's got like this keyhole in the back. And in the front, it's got the heat keyhole as well. It's an oversized shirt, I guess, kind of oversized looking at it. It looks oversized. But it's just this cute little shirt. It's got like the um, elastic bottom on it. Um, just a good shirt to wear with jeans. Um, Long-sleeved, thin. So yeah, that's that. I grabbed these because they said flare jeans are like really in style right now. And so I have been, instead of looking at brands and sizes for jeans, I've been looking at the cut. So these were the only pair of flare jeans that I was able to find in the store. And this is New York and Company. It's Petites. I don't know if they will even sell. I did pay $2 for these, so it's not like it's that big of a deal. But they're in pretty good shape. They do have a little bit of fraying on the end, but they're just some flare jeans. And, I mean, they're a nice material. It looks cute. I like the coloring, but as you see, like, some people don't like this, but then some people don't really care. So I just went and picked up, because it's just that one leg. Um, I mean, it just looks like you wear your jeans. There's no... You know, sometimes in here it'll be really soft where it's been rubbing, but these ones are not like that. So, um, yeah. That's my kids. I don't know what that was doing in there. All right. So, I rarely pick up Vince Commuto, but I did because it was $2 and it was a really cute top. So, it's not really in season, but it's just pretty. Let me see if I can. I see all the other, you know, youtubers who do these hauls and they have everything on hangers already i'm like i'm gonna do that one day because holding these up is a pain so anyway it's just this top and if you can see it's got these cute flower like a crochet type i don't even know i need to get my knitting and stuff all that down but yeah it's really cute and it's got like the keyhole in the back but it is a sleeveless top on the back it's just a basic like a t-shirt feel but um this will come in handy for when it starts to warm up. I mean, it's already February, so spring break will be here before you know it, and people are going down south where it's warm, and they'll buy stuff like that. Like, that is really cute. I like that. Um, these are J. Crew. Um, I don't remember what type they are, though. Let's see. It doesn't say. I'll have to look it up. It does have a style number. They are from fall 2015, so they are only four years old so that's good that means they probably will sell um hopefully but these are jeans they are size 29s they are like kind of stretchy so i'll let you see this is the these are skinny jeans they are in pretty good condition i mean i don't see anything wrong with them no holes no stains um so yeah i will probably set these well, I'll comp them. I'll set up, you know, what I have been doing, which I should probably make a video about that. The way that I've been comping my items, I've been going to sellhound.com. And I know it compares the prices and the averages stuff out. I get that. But what I've just been doing is going, typing in whatever the item is I have into it, going to the Poshmark one and looking up the average sold price for that item and just adding $10 to that, that's how I've been doing my pricing in the last couple weeks, just to test it out to see. Because, I mean, it says it averages everything out. I know I could probably get more, um, but I need to literally go through each and every item um, and look them up. And I've just been like, 
I don't know. I just don't feel like scrolling through all that stuff right now. But, you know, you want to make money, you're going to have to work, Vicky. <sighs> anyway. All right. Um, this is a LuLaRoe cardigan. It is a size large. And I, when I saw it, I was like, man, I'm going to keep this for myself. It's really cute. It's got, like, it's this pretty print. I'm just showing you the side for right now. It's got, like, the kimono sleeve type things. I don't know if that's kimono sleeve. No, it's not. Is it? Well, it's got wider sleeves, but anyway, it's kind of like a waterfall type uh, draping. It's hard to show you on the camera, but it's like a draping cardigan. So I know Lulu Row stuff. I find it constantly, and I leave a lot of it because it doesn't sell very well. It does sell. Um, it sells better in lots, but I was like, I'm not doing any more lots because I really got screwed on the last lot that I sold. I paid $5 for each pair of pants. They were all brand new for the leggings, and I sold it for like $20. So I made a $16 profit, and I paid $30. So luckily, I went back, and when I was doing my spreadsheet earlier today, I was adding in all my prices that I paid for items, and I was like, well, it all bounced out. So I still came out over like $1,000 on top, you know, so that's a plus. <laughs> but, yeah, I just, I, I don't pick up that much anymore unless it's like unique looking like I bought a bicycle shirt that I listed the other day which was really cute. I have never found a cardigan for LuLaRoe um, for a woman so that was the first one for women that I found. I did find little girls which I gave to my youngest daughter. It's a size 12 but it's really cute so she can grow into it. All right I'll stop rambling. Next item are these Not Your Daughter jeans. It's the Maryland Straight. I was also informed that straight jeans are coming back. Um, these are stretchy. You can feel the stretch on them, but they were in excellent condition. I didn't pay barely anything for these as well. So, but yeah. Um, I think in all for this haul, I paid like $40 for everything. So I think it was a pretty good haul. These were the vintage Calvin Klein's. Now I have sold Calvin Klein's before, um, vintage jeans, and it took a while for them to sell, but when they did sell, I think I sold for like, I think it was 25. I think, I don't know. You can go back in my closet and look if, if you want to. <laughs> it's there somewhere. Um, it might've been less. I really don't remember, but I know they sat for a very long time and I was like, I'll never buy these again, but I did because these ones were even better. So these are, as you can see, super high rise. Um, it's got the, you know, typical Calvin Klein look to the back. And these are, they look like boot cut. Now, first of all, these are size 34 inseams. So these are very long. Um, this would be more for like a really tall chick or they'd have to get them like hemmed or something but they're in excellent condition. Like, I don't feel that they've ever been worn, ever. So I'm definitely going to price those a lot higher than I did the others because these are in much better shape and these are more, I feel, sought after than the ones that I had before. Okay, um, this is a Harley Davidson shirt. I picked this one up because it was really cool looking. It's got all these studs. Um, so it's just this plaid shirt, but if you can look closely, you can see all these studding up here. And then it's got like this metal Harley Davidson um, logo on the back. You know, it's got the writing on the back. I mean, this is like a really cute top. And it's got like some stretch to it as well. So I think this one will probably go pretty well, pretty quick, pretty well. I think this one will go pretty quick. I mean, this is really cute. As for like the print on the back, I think it's supposed to look like this where it's kind of like shaded like it's missing pieces and stuff um, because there's no raised anything to it. So I think this is how it's supposed to be, but yeah, it was in perfect condition. So I picked it up. All right. Um, I did try to go after some Torrid and I was successful on finding a couple pieces. So um, this is Torrid. This is one of the newer ones and it's just this pretty... Um, do we call it chiffon? I don't know what the difference is. I really need to educate myself on those styles. I'm not like, you know, some fashion blogger who knows all the terms for all these things. I really don't. It takes a long time for me to learn 
stuff about clothing because, you know, I just sell it. I don't know what it is. Um, sorry, I was trying to fix this little sleeve so you can kind of see what it's supposed to look like, but like that. Um, really cute. It's kind of sheer a little bit. Not too bad, really. Um, but yeah, so it was this top. I know that will go because I've sold some that look like that before. Uh, I got these from Goodwill. Another pair of Topshop. Um, I have a pair of red ones up for sale right now. So these have a $105 um, tag on the bottom. And then they have a $30 tag on top of that one. So I guess, I don't know, somebody sold it for $30 and then Goodwill sold it for, you know, their regular $650. I don't know if this is a good sign or a bad sign to see three different price tags on it. Obviously, they have never been worn, like, at all. They're in perfect shape. Never worn. I think they're cute. Like, these are size six and a half. Bad size to get, but I couldn't pass them up. I love Topshop stuff. Um, they're size, yeah, 6.5. So, I don't know. But I'm going to put them in my closet with the red ones. And we will go from there. See, since they're black, maybe somebody will pick them up. I mean, the red ones, not many people wear red shoes, but now this is anthropology, but I don't know what this like label is. It looks like it says HWR. <sighs> somebody help me out here because I mean, I know they have a ton. The label. All right. So it is just like a little sweater cardigan. Um, really cute it's kind of thick feeling in perfect condition nothing wrong with it um it, it's really cute really soft and i found another piece of anthropology it is this little yellow button um and it's just a cute little top with bell sleeves striped um i don't know if you want to see that up close but it's kind of cute and of course, I always love the shirts with the bell sleeves like that. That's adorable. And really, they're elastic bottoms, so. And another piece of anthropology. This was knitted and knotted. This is a large. Finally starting to find some bigger sizes in anthropology. Um, I never find big sizes. I, it's always extra small or small, so. Um, knitted and knotted. And it's just this pretty gray. Uh-oh. I think I see a hole. Oh, uh, no, it's stretched. Wait, is that a hole? Hold up. I got to figure out if this is a hole or not because it's going to drive me nuts. Kitty, what are you doing? Kitty, what are you doing? Okay, so it has that. Can you see that? It's, it's stretched. It's not really a hole. It's more stretched than anything. I'll list that in the description. I don't really think most people would care about that. For the fact of the type, I mean, that's honestly the only part. Ugh. So I will have to list that in the description. That makes me sad. That means I have to lower the price. Oh, well. Anyway, it's like a, is it cashmere? Is that what it's called? Cashmere or merino wool? Something like that. This is, hmm, neither one of those. It's just cotton and modal whatever that is and silk so it's really soft but yeah Doo -doo -doo. all right here's some more sequins i got this from um goodwill it's toward it's their older tag their older label and it's just this knit top it's a, like a tunic it's got these sequins it is actually purple it looks blue in this viewfinder so it's purple that is one of the biggest problems I have photographing um, purple under these lights because I have like my diva light and then I have a soft box and I don't know what it is but it makes it look blue in every video not video in every photograph that I've taken so I have to like describe it in you know the description be like this is purple not blue or this might be royal blue but it's not just blue all right these are, this is a cabbie jacket. I've had good success with the last cabbie jacket that I sold. Um, this one is a blue, like a cropped jacket, I guess you call it. It's really cute. Let me show you the material up close. Um, and the material is 37% wool, polyester, acrylic, and rayon. So it's cute. 
and like I will pick up cabby especially if it's jackets jackets or pants I have success with those the tops they sit a little bit but yeah they're the pants and the jackets seem to go um, these are Lily Pulitzer they look a little smashed like they're sitting in a box but they're just these sandal heels I don't know the backs of them look rough the bottoms look rough but um, yeah Lily I pick up Lily no matter what um, I love Lily Pulitzer it always sells and since the majority of my buyers are in Georgia Texas and uh, California um, the Georgia people love the Lily Pulitzer and I think some of the Texas people do too. I have never sold Lily Pulitzer to California though. I usually sell stuff like this to California. So this is free people. It is, you have to excuse my cut finger right here. I know I've been putting it all up in the camera. It looks horrible. But uh, yeah, my hands are so dry and my skin around my nails starts to crack. It hurts so bad. Um, these are extra small, of course, um, and they're just leggings, that's all. Just some little leggings, cute little leggings. And the last item on this haul is... So I think this is vintage, and for those of you who are familiar with vintage, leave me a comment, let me know if you think this is vintage or not. The tag is hearsay but it has this the workers union tag in it but this looks like an old label Let's see if you can actually see it can you see it I hope you can see it but it looks like an older label so I, it, I think it's vintage I did look up hearsay on Etsy and there are dresses from hearsay so I'm hoping that this is vintage it's an excellent condition if it is um, but it's this pretty little dress it's got like the detail floral detail it's got these long cuffed is it called cuff sleeves I can't even think right now and it's just a long black dress I mean not long it's a midi dress it comes like right below your knee um, but it's a, it's so adorable I loved it so I picked it up and I'm hoping that it is indeed vintage and that I can sell it like it's vintage so anyway um, that was the haul um, I have a lot more stuff that I could be putting on video right now, but um, I have to take it all back upstairs again because I'm not doing videos downstairs anymore. Um, and I don't really feel like it. So I did buy a bunch of things to sell to thread up, but I don't know if I'm going to sell them to thread up now because I've been seeing so much negative speak about thread up lux. And I'm like, well, do I really want to do it? Like, I feel like I would be the one to screw it up. And they just basically sell me all my stuff for like 50 cents each. And I literally spent some money, you know, on some of these items to sell. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and list them in my Poshmark closet and give them like a month. And if they don't sell, then I'm going to throw them on Threaded Lux. I have the, the label, which my daughter spilled water on. But thankfully, it's still there. Um, it didn't damage the ink. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, have you used Threader Plux? Like, are you being successful with it? Because I'm just, it seems like a really good idea just to start shopping, you know, to send stuff to them and just get the money. That's a good thing. But at the same time, like, is it really worth it? Like, they seem to be screwing over a lot of people on the items that they send in. So, all right, I am going to go. I have to make the next video. I've done two so far. So the next video I'm about to make is what sold in January. I was debating on waiting until later next week to do it. But I was like, you know, I might as well just go ahead and get it over with now since I have some time right now. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, guys, so that was it. I hope you all have a great night, and I will talk to you on my next video. Bye.